Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D model using aerial photos from your drone. Having a 3D model can be really helpful when planning out a homestead property or a build site. To do this project, you'll need a drone, a computer with internet access, and a copy of Autodesk Recap Photo. If you're a student, you can download a free copy of this software from their website. The license is good for one year. The first thing you'll need to do is fly your drone over the site. This property is pretty big, so I flew it about 200 feet above ground level. This was so I can ensure I get a good sized chunk of the property in each photo. We'll want to set up on one corner of the property and then we're going to fly in a straight line all the way to the end of the property. Once you're at the start position at the corner of the property, aim the camera directly downwards to 90 degrees so you can see directly what's underneath the drone. Start flying in a straight line at a slow pace and take a photo about once every second. I'm going to fly this freehand, although you can also download apps that do this as well. Once you get to the end of the property, you're going to scooch to the side and then fly back in the direction that you came from, making somewhat of a serpentine pattern. When you move to the side, make sure not to go too far. You need to be overlapping the previous row of images as well. Depending on how big the property is, 90% overlap is a good target to shoot for. Be sure to cover the entire area you want mapped. When in doubt, take extra photos. You can always delete the extra ones later. Once you're done flying, upload your photos from your drone to your computer, then open the Autodesk Recap Photo software. You'll need to log in to your Autodesk account that you created to download the software. Select Arial in the upper left corner. Click the Add Photos button on the left and select up to 100 photos from your drone flight. If you have more than 100 photos, choose the 100 that best cover the property area and then click Create. Be sure to give your project a name, then check all three options below, and you can go ahead and use the default target coordinate system. This project took about an hour to render. The rendering time really depends on how busy the Autodesk server is. Once it's complete, click the icon to download. Once the file is downloaded, click it to open and it will launch in the Autodesk software. Now you can view your aerial 3D rendering. You can navigate around the property and zoom in and out. I've found this super handy for site planning for my homestead. It's hard to see detail on maps like this, so sometimes I'll leave clues for myself on the terrain itself. I marked my well location with a big X made of PVC pipe that I could see from the air. You can see how the white X transposed over into the 3D model as well. The detail for trees and foliage isn't great on a project of this scale. You can get better detail on projects when you're flying at a lower altitude with the drone. You can see the details better on some of these other projects like this building and this car. Let me know in the comments section what other 3D renderings we should make with the drone. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel.